Hi, I'm Jeff Vogel for Buzz TV Network News. This week in review, seen on Xfinity Cable Channel 1098, Buzz TV in Indian River County serving 60,000 homes and businesses on the Treasure Coast, Indian River County's only local origination cable TV station. This week in review, we're going to be talking about COVID-19 across the country and here in Sebastian and Vero Beach. Also off the sideline, it's a new program starting on Buzz TV Network. Five local men get together in a local barbershop and talk about what's going on in the world. Also this week in review, the presidential campaign between President Trump and, uh, and former Vice President Joe Biden. Those campaigns seem to be spinning in neutral right now and making the best of the very worst situation that we can be in. We'll talk about all of that on This Week in Review, starting with COVID-19 in Vero Beach and Sebastian. First, uh, around the world, there are now more than 10 million cases of COVID-19, uh, positive cases around the world, and one-fourth of those, 25% of the, the worldwide cases, two and a half million of them, are right here in the United States. We only have 4% of the world's population, but we have 25% of the world's cases of COVID-19. In Florida, we're, we're past the 150,000 mark, and, and 50,000 of, 50, of those, one-third of all the positive cases in Florida have all happened in the past week. One-third of all of the cases have occurred in the past week, or at least the positive test results have been gotten over the past, the past week. Um, Indian River County will, is now on the march towards a thousand cases right here in our county. The worst cases, of course, being in South Florida and uh, Miami, West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale. Um, and this past Friday, uh, there was a, a, another press conference held um, at the Indian River County administrative offices um, to talk about uh, what's going on. It was billed as an important press conference, so, so much so that it was moved from uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon to uh, 11 o'clock in the morning um, with an important announcement slated to be uh, presented at the, um, at the uh, press briefing. And uh, at the press briefing, County Administrator Jason Brown, along with um, the Health Department spokeswoman Miranda Hawker, presented their case for um, the increase, the exponential um, spiking of coronavirus cases in Florida and, um, and, and beginning to happen also in Indian River County um, with, with dozens of cases, dozens upon dozens added this past week. The big announcement that face masks would be mandatory in Indian River County for employees at businesses serving customers. At county businesses or businesses within the county in hopes that uh, businesses within city limits would also follow suit uh, with the city's uh, Sebastian and uh, Felsmere Vero Beach calling for uh, those mandatory masks in, within the city limits as well. I thought that most businesses, most retail businesses, restaurants, etc., that just about all businesses already had their employees wearing masks when they were serving customers. So the big announcement turned out to be a very little announcement. In the meantime, other counties around Florida are mandating that masks be worn in public. Orlando, Miami, Tampa, they are mandating masks be worn in public. I can remember the big argument when I was growing up, when I was just, just about this big, you're not going to tell me to wear a seat belt. Back in the day when seat belts were optional. 
In the meantime, more and more people would be in crashes and die because they weren't wearing seat belts. The same argument is being presented now. You're not going to tell me to wear a face mask. Well, we do have rules in society. Um, it's a bullet we may all have to bite pretty soon. Um, counties around us are mandating masks be worn. I've, I've asked um, I've asked Jason Brown on previous occasions if there was uh, if there was contingency planning for if things got worse. And each time I asked, I got a response that we're just kind of feeling our way along as we go and no, there really is no contingency planning. Is this mandate from Indian River County a little too little, too late. If the U.S. has one quarter of the world's cases and only 4% of the world's population, someone, somewhere, is responsible. We'll talk more about the coronavirus and the Friday press conference. When we come back, along with Off the Sideline, a new program on Buzz TV Network.